The South Korean military says North Korea test launched what appears to have been its new ICBM, the Hwasong 17, but it appears to have failed, exploding just after launch. The United States has condemned the launch, calling it destabilizing. Payunji reports. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said the North launched an unidentified projectile at around half past nine on Wednesday morning, but said it failed soon after liftoff. It said it appeared to be a ballistic missile and was fired from the district of Sunan in the regime's capital, Pyongyang. It appears that the suspected ballistic missile fired this morning by North Korea from Sunan area in Pyongyang has failed after it was launched. South Korea and U.S. intelligence agencies are currently conducting detailed analysis on the matter. The military reportedly said the suspected missile exploded at some point below an altitude of 20 kilometers. It also reportedly said Wednesday's launch was a test of the regime's new ICBM, called Hwasong-17, which was first unveiled at a military parade in October 2020. Although specific details are yet to be disclosed, it's likely that the launch was indeed a test of its ICBM. This is because an airfield in Sunan is where ballistic missiles were launched recently, on March 5th and on February 27th. The regime claimed those were tests for the development of a reconnaissance satellite, but they were widely seen as thinly disguised tests for the Hwasong-17. Following Wednesday's failed launch, the U.S. military's Indo-Pacific Command said the projectile was in fact a ballistic missile and condemned the move. It urged Pyongyang to refrain from further destabilizing acts. North Korea has not conducted any ICBM tests or nuclear tests since November 2017, when it launched the Hwasong-15. But it not only appears to be developing a new ICBM, it was also seen last week restoring some demolished tunnels at its nuclear test site. Pei Eunji, Arirang News.